Well, I think uh, you know, part of their their scheme is from an option standpoint. Option teams sometimes are, you know, there's more a lot of uh, control of the ball, a lot of movement of the ball, so those those teams are more susceptible to to turnovers. So we've got to be conscious of that certainly in our as we go through option responsibility, but but also we're heightened that hey, it's an opportunity for us to to go after turnovers. And and as we've seen in the last three or four games, we haven't been able to turn over the ball. We had a big turnover in the in the red zone on Saturday. But uh, our success throughout this year has been based on getting turnovers. And I think this is a good opportunity for us to, to be able to see how other people have had success uh, all over the field and being able to create turnovers. Well, anyway, I think, I think uh, yeah, as we watch film, just when you see that ball, whether it's the quarterback carrying the ball, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, the, a lot of reads and what whatnot on option football. There's opportunities out there, and so uh, we try to make our guys in, in film study uh, show them show them situations where other teams have had success, and hopefully we can simulate that. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. We had a couple new stunts. Actually, the stunt that that got the sack in the in the first series of the third quarter was was a stunt we had early in the game and got cut off, which created a big uh, a big seam. The other one was a uh, a blitz. We were bringing six, and uh, and uh, there was a seam, and he stepped up, and that was the end of the second quarter where where he had a long run. But uh, you know, he was a. a a quarterback we were conscious of that would step up and look look for seams to be able to step up and run and, and especially early in the game we didn't do a very good job of making sure that you know we built a wall made sure we were, our lane integrity was good and uh, we got better in the second half and I think it helped uh, obviously we, we played better in the second half well I, I think I think on his past game his one of his uh, first or second options is run. You know, a lot of the lead draw, that foot, that blocking back, a lot of times will lead up. And so you've got to be very conscious of him. He's a big, physical, strong uh, young man that, uh, you know, you have to be conscious of him, whether when he's dropping back f uh, for pass or whether he's just under uh, in the gun with, with one back next to him. He's always got the opportunity, and he's their, their leading rusher right now. Our coverage, we, we were in a we were in a man blitz, okay, a man blitz, and they they motioned out to empty, so it took one of our blitzers out, and we were in man coverage with with a, a low hole, or excuse me, a, a single high safety. John Crawford was single high safety, so, and John was just a step or two away from from getting there. Zach Shaw did a great job pass rushing on blitz and, and got hit the quarterback, and it, we were just a step or two away by our young young safety, our our middle safety Tony Fields uh, had number two uh, and, and they did a good job they they gave us a different personnel group and we were we were prepared we knew they were very versatile down in the red zone especially two-point plays in that situation and, and practiced a lot of different scenarios with man blitz Well, I think I think at that at that situation, you know, it's uh, uh, they put formation in the boundary, and that's a situation where Tony's put on a, you know, typically he'll he'll have a, either a tight end over there. So, you know, I I think he I think if he was in a uh, in a position, maybe he would have, have thought closer, maybe been able to to take a chance at taking him down. But uh, you know, at that situation, he didn't. I think especially with guys like Tyler Green, Tyler Green is, uh, you know, while, they, while a guy like Jonathan Crawford's played probably as much as any safety in the country right now, 
Uh, Tyler Green has, uh, still has a lot of maturing and development to do. He's played in only a couple of games right now, so we still got to push him. Yet Jonathan Crawford, you know, really you really got to cut back on him. He's never had a season like this in high school, uh, and so he's a guy that's uh, you know been banged up a little bit, and so you kind of got to you know limit his reps. But then some of those young guys, obviously, you've got to continue to uh, develop them, and, and the only way to really do that is is with repetition, and so. Yeah, I think it, it depends on the individual, you know, how much they've played, how much more development they have. But, uh, you know, guys like Rashard Fant, Jonathan Crawford, you know, you really have to, you certainly want to be able to prepare them for this opponent because uh, Maryland does have great skill. I mean, I think everybody I've talked to uh, comments on how they have great skill, so we've got to be do a great job in the secondary. But, uh, you know, I think our guys need to be fresh. Coach Wilson's done a great job this week for changing our schedule around a little bit just to keep the guys – a little bit fresher at the end of the week. Uh, you know, I, I I asked our guys, uh, you know, asked them, hey, give me some feedback on what it is in the third quarter. And, and I don't know if our guys just, um, you know, get, feel more confident in, the, confident in what they're doing after after a half a play. We get in, talk to them, settle them down. You know, for some reason, I, I would imagine we're one of the best teams in the country in the third quarter. Now, we certainly got to continue that we played really gave up three points the last play of the game in the second half and uh, you know I think one thing we have to be able to do with our offense being so dynamic we've got to be able to get a few more three and outs you know we were on the field a long time in the second half and, and uh, we need to be be able to get off the field and, and let our offense go and I think that's something we're challenging our guys is uh, you know those long drives we got to be more aggressive and we got to get off the field. Yes. Well, uh, you know, uh, that was a, a double move to Rudock. They had a good matchup there. It was man coverage, and uh, he, he just did a good job on, on a double move and beat our safety. Yeah, I, th I thought that, uh, you know, they did a good job at moving. You know, we were very concerned about him, you know, as far as, Obviously, we think he's one of the best tight ends in the country, and uh, you know we're concerned about him going into the game. And knew uh, they moved him all over the place. Had him at number one receiver at times, split out, uh, and, and probably utilized him more in different scenarios and matchups than than they had done all year. I am. I, th I think uh, you know the development of those of those young kids, especially our young guys. I think we've 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 continued to develop, and and you know a couple of them, Jamil Cook, uh, you know was playing really well and went out went out with an injury. Andre Brown, or a couple of young guys. So you know we need to get some of those guys back, and, and certainly anticipate getting a few of those guys back, and and them to continue to develop. We knew coming into the season we were going to have a lot of young guys back there, and, and certainly uh, you know they've been tested, but. You know, I think that they'll, they've continued to get better. And, you know, a guy like Tyler Green, we didn't even anticipate playing. And, and he's jumped in the last three weeks and, and did some good things, you know. Uh, took, took, some, took some lumps out there, but, uh, you know, he's a young man that had, I think he had six or seven tackles and did some good things. Well, I, I think both of them are very similar, likely, and, and Peppers are outstanding athletes, you know, outstanding return guys. And, uh, um, you know, I think we did a decent job on Peppers from a standpoint of, of didn't make too big of a deal, but we certainly knew when he was on the field as coaches from what we were going to call, plus our players were working and knew that there would be a different uh, scenario. And so... Uh, Likely is a guy that's very explosive. And we've got to be aware when he's on the field what they're doing and uh, being aware of him because he is certainly you see what he's done just from a total yardage standpoint as a returner uh, for them to be able to. He's got great hands, can catch the ball, uh, whether it's fly sweeps, they utilize him in a lot of different ways. So he will be a guy that, much like Peppers, uh, will be very familiar with. 